going on YouTube, West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with what to do, what to look for and how to fly as a beginner, what kind of things you should do, your orientations, your orientations, what you should practice, what you shouldn't practice. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go look through the radio setup, what you can do in your radio to help soften sticks, expose, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and look at that now. So for having the helicopter tamed down as a beginner setup or as you progress to changes, a few things we can do. In the transmitter itself, we can go to dual rates and expo. And we can create a dual rate and expo on all of our channels here. So we can say on ailerons, we want to tame aileron down. We can do, do you want it on all the time or do you want it on a switch? So if you want it on all the time, you can just go in, bring your expo up 20, 30, 40%. So let's say we're doing a 20% expo curve. So we'll do expo and then on a switch, we'll put it, for example, on our flight mode switch. Normal. So on our normal mode, we have no expo. Stunt one. Stunt one, we have expo. Stunt two. Stunt two, we have no expo. Normal. But in normal mode, you may want more expo. You may want less expo. So you would start around 15% or so, 20%, and then adjust that. So say, for example, we start at 15 in normal mode, and then stunt, stunt two, stunt one. idle up one, we're at 20%. Stunt two idle up two, we can go to 30 or 40%. It's all your personal preference. And what this is gonna do is if you watch this curve, it is going to deaden the center of the stick. So it's gonna make the center of the stick less sensitive. So as you move, 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 and then it'll catch. And that's how it works on both ways. And you can do the exact same thing for elevator. You can do it for rudder. You can put it all on separate switches. You can add expo, as much expo as you would like. You can take expo away. You can go negative, make it more sensitive. So it's something you can do to help tame the helicopter down. The other thing you can do is in the FBL, the same thing, but try it in your radio first. See how you like it. So now that we looked at our radio setup, we are going to fly the helicopter. So now when you are a beginner, the first and best thing to do is to start with the helicopter tail towards you. That's the best way to learn to hover. The very first thing you should do is, is buy a simulator. 100% get a simulator. There's tons of great ones out there and practice, practice, practice. I picked the Raw 580 for this video just because it's bigger, easier to see lots of colors. So we're going to go and spool up. So now when you spool up, we're going to normal. flip off normal mode, throttle up. Flip off throttle hold and spool up. So we're running a low head speed here and low head speed is okay when you're a beginner. You get a longer flight time. There's no reason to crank a high head speed out. So now practice that tail end hover. Practice just sitting there, flying around. It's windy, it's gonna get blown around. You wanna practice keeping that helicopter right where you want it to be. It's called Borientations for a reason. I'm gonna turn the head speed up just for a second. So it's called Borientations for a reason because it can be very boring. When you're sitting there and you're just hovering with that tail towards you, it's boring. But what I try to do is practice one minute tail towards you, okay? And then practice one minute tail away from you. I'll turn the head speed back down because it's kind of loud. So practice one minute tail away from you, side hover. When you, when you get at that, you're gonna practice nose towards you. One minute. Keep that nose at you. Practice, practice. When you're good at that, practice left. It's called a four-point hover. Opposite side of you. Practice again, tail towards you. And you keep, then you just sit there and practice this very boring four-point hover. It is not fun, but it is what you need to do to learn properly. And you're gonna wanna learn how to keep that helicopter where you want it at all times, regardless of the wind, tailwind, headwind, crosswind. You wanna keep that helicopter right there. Nose towards you, keep that helicopter where you want it. Tail away from you. Four point hover, boring intations. They're very boring. Practice one minute, one minute, one minute. Now when you're first brand new, you just wanna practice with that tail towards you. You just wanna battery after battery, tail towards you. Don't worry about trying to forward fly, backwards fly, left fly, don't worry about none of that. Just tail towards you hovering. Practice that hovering. Once you're comfortable with that tail towards you, then you know, side, nose, other side, tail. Just keep practicing that four point hover 
so you can keep that helicopter where you want it. And not only is that gonna help you when you're hovering, but it's also gonna help you in your pirouettes. Because when you're in a pirouette, you know how to control that helicopter no matter which way you're in the pyro. Same with left. And that everything you learn is going to go, your basic flights learn into every maneuver that you do. Okay, so now we know we can fly tail in. Tail end feels great. We can fly side, we can fly nose, we can fly left side. Now what you're gonna wanna do, tail end, push the helicopter away from you, stop it, put it back into a hover, pull the helicopter towards you, stop it, put it back into a hover. And you're just gonna wanna practice this. Helicopter away from you, stop it, put it back into a hover, helicopter towards you, stop it put it back into a hover so now we know we can push the helicopter forward we can stop it we can hover it here we can pull the helicopter back towards us we can stop it and hover it here now once we get comfortable with that you're going to do that over and over and over again then we're going to learn a circuit so you can also push the helicopter to the right you're going to do the same thing four point stop it hover to the left stop it, hover to the right. And you're gonna keep practicing this. You're just gonna back and forth. Once you're comfortable with that, nose in, tail away from you, stop it, hover, nose towards you, stop it, hover. One minute. Away from you, stop it, and you're just gonna practice that over and over again. So now we can do four point hovers. We can also do forward and back pushing the helicopter. So then what we're gonna do from a hover, we're gonna learn a circuit. So we're gonna do it sideways and we're just gonna go this way. We're gonna stop and you're gonna keep practicing this. Stop. Once you get comfortable with this, this is what's gonna help you in that circuit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push forward. So we'll come back into our hover. Got a little carried away. We're gonna come back into our hover. We're gonna push forward. And we're gonna use right rudder, kick the nose around, bring the helicopter back to us. And then we're gonna keep practicing tail end. And we're gonna start with right rudder. Push it. And we're just gonna do straight up and down with right rudder in our turns. We're gonna to try to keep the helicopter as flat as possible. Once you have mastered that with right rudder, then you wanna do the same thing with left rudder. Straight forward, left rudder, come across, left rudder, keeping the helicopter flat. Then you'll learn your circuits. So you're gonna do that, but now you're gonna follow through. Little bit of aileron, little rudder. Just follow through with that circuit. Now we're gonna just learn it. We're just doing circuits now. And then you do the same thing the other way. Right rudder. And that's your basics of learning, practicing, doing circuits, and then you wanna do figure eights. So it's the same way, but you're gonna use, we're gonna do left, and then we're gonna do right. We're just learning figure eights. Now this is important to learning. Before you start learning how to fly inverted, do loops, do rolls, you wanna learn how to keep that helicopter. Say you wanna keep it right here, but we wanna do figure eights. I could put this helicopter where I want it, as tight as I want it. Low head speed gives you a long flight time. Borientations, practice, practice, practice. Once we are comfortable with all of our regular flying, you can learn how to stall turn it and bring it back. You wanna practice this before, we're gonna go ahead and set it down. So you wanna practice all this. We'll do more videos on this topic, but you wanna practice all of this before you start going into any 3D maneuvers, any inverted, anything. So once you learn all of this, 
do it all again, but backwards. And we'll go over a video about doing it backwards. And once you learn it backwards and you can do everything forward, backwards, exactly what I just showed you, 100%, put that helicopter wherever you want it, on this field, on your flight, whatever, then you are ready to finally flip the helicopter inverted and you wanna learn it all over again. Learn those orientations all over again. Then that will give you, so no matter which direction this helicopter is in and any maneuver, all your maneuvers play off of each other. So no matter what direction this maneuver is in, the helicopter is in, you will know what to do. It will make you a better pilot. It will save you money, stop you from crashing and help you progress faster. So I hope this little video helped you guys answer some questions. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.